Virtual Motorheads. Hey guys, welcome back to Virtual Motorheads, and today is a very special video. It's for all the guys who own a set of Sillnet pedals along with the haptic feedback motors. The good news is that Simhub has finally added native support for the Simnet racing pedals haptic feedback motors. So no longer do you have to go through that whole Arduino setup process, which let's be honest was a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, all the settings are there and I'm going to take you through the whole process. I'm going to tell you what software you need to download, uh, the latest firmware you need for your pedals and then we're going to take it for a spin uh, on Monza. So let's go. Until now Simnet haptic feedback motors needed extra steps to get it set up in Simhub and they've changed that recently and I'm now here to show you all the steps required to get the best out of your haptic feedback motors so let's go to Simnet first as you can see here simnetracing.com downloads I'll put all the links in the description below you need to update your firmware on your pedals first version 1.2.1 is required for this and then while you're at it update your simnet software as well just for in case okay so i'll put the links in the description below then once you've downloaded that and you've installed your firmware um, let me just show you how to do that let me just open the simnet sim connect manager you can see here at the bottom my pedals is already on version 1.2.1 and i'm on the software's latest latest version as well version 1.1.8 so to update your firmware if you haven't done this before go to update here you can see manual firmware update you go and select that file that you've downloaded um i wonder if it's still there yeah pedal firmware update right over there and You'll open it and then you click on update i've done that already so i'm not going to do that again once you've done that your pedals will be updated okay i'm not going to show you how to calibrate the pedals again you can go check out this video to see how i've done it okay let's minimize that now once you've got your simnet pedals updated the firmware you go to sum up make sure you've got the latest you can download the latest version because it will include all of these changes it's always best to be on the latest version but in order to have the simnet haptic feedback motors in sum up you need version 9.9.8 at least and here you can see new device support simnet sp pro pedal support requires incoming 1.2.1 firmware update okay so you update your sim hub very very easy update your sim hub once you've updated your sim hub now let's go to sim hub i didn't have devices added so i had to first figure this one out if you you need to make sure that devices is one of the menu options here on the left if you do not have devices you go down to add remove features click on it you scroll down until you find devices here it is and you enable it with that little toggle button once you've done that close it devices will be there click on devices now my simnet pedals are there already i'm not going to re-add them i accidentally added added a second set but the way it works add new device this little this menu will open up and you will scroll down all the way until you get to simnet there you go and you click on that and you say okay and it will add your simnet pedals now mine is already there once you've added them 
you'll see all these different effects will be available to you. I mean, check here, even flight sims, wings load and touchdown, how cool is that? But I don't play flight sims. Now, I've always believed less is more. I mean, look at all these settings that you can enable. ABS, and here you can choose which pedal you want that effect to be on clutch, brake, throttle. Man, these guys did an absolutely amazing job. I don't know if you could hear that, <laughs> but you can test it. You test it and you'll be able to feel it. Um, I love that they've done this. Okay. So yes, you've got ABS, traction control, active, acceleration, G-force, deacceleration, G-force. Gear shift is cool. We're gonna see what that feels like when we put that on the, um, what's it, the transducer motor. Road rumble, road vibration. I think if you put this on, it's gonna be too much. But this is all personal preference. You get to play around with this now. You don't have to go through this. Where is it? I've disabled it. That Arduino nonsense that really frustrated some people. So thank you so much to SimHub's developers for doing this. And of course for SimNet for also requesting, requesting this. Because um, the SimNet pedals are becoming very, very popular. I mean, I still have these on the rig. I don't see myself taking them off ever, um, unless I review other pedals. Okay. Here you can say impacts. I don't know if you want that on your pedals. Traction loss. That would that would that could be cool. Uh, rest per minute. No, those kind of things. You put that on your on your base shakers if you've got base shakers installed. I've got a video also. You'll see it up there. Um, that shows you how to get base shakers installed on your on your rig along with with some up. Okay, but but let's mess around with this now. So I need to explain to you something here. Tactile transducer. You can set the frequency. Linear motor. You can set the frequency. Rumble motor. You can't set the frequency. So whatever effect you feel through the rumble motor. It feels the same all the time um, and this is where my recommendation comes in get yourself if you are in the market to buy these pedals or you have these pedals already but you do not have the haptic feedback motors and you want a motor on each pedal get yourself three linear motors they are the best yes they're the most expensive but it feels freaking amazing Trust me when I say that, it feels amazing. Otherwise you can just get yourself a little tactile transducer. I haven't played around with that yet, so we're gonna do that now for the first time. I've played around with the linear motor and the rumble motor. Okay, let's go back to sum up. Like I said, every single effect that you open up, you'll see, you can tell it, I wanna feel this on my clutch, I wanna feel this on my brake, and I wanna feel this on my throttle. So be very careful what you choose here, because it might be overwhelming. But this is your frequency, so of course, the higher you set the frequency, that's not nice. That's not nice. It's, it's, it's a much sharper, shorter sound frequency. I'm not a scientist, so. but I know what I feel on my foot. If I compare this to what I felt on the Moza M Booster Active pedal, just that felt amazing. It must not vibrate like, a, like an electric toothbrush. You want to feel those rumbles from the ABS. So if you leave it on 20 Hertz, it feels great. There's another menu here, hardware settings. So you can see that the linear motor intensity is strong. Yeah, you can also test the channel, but yeah, I like the way this feels. ABS, 20 Hertz, brake pedal only. Traction control active, might be cool on the throttle. So that you can know, okay, going a little bit too fast here. My traction control is clicking, is, is, is kicking in. So let me just take my foot a little bit off the throttle. Now you see, I've set previously when I had this on, I set the intensity to 70%. Yeah, that actually feels very nice. I'm gonna leave that on there and see what it feels like. We're gonna, we're gonna try this out in Lamar Ultimate. Traction control done. Let's go to gear shift. Let's enable the effect only on the clutch. Let's check it out. That feels cool. 15 hertz. Pulse duration, 70. Leave it there. Bring that hertz up to 
20. That's fine. I'm gonna leave it there. Yeah, something like wheel spin and wheel lock. I'll add that on my base shakers as well. I won't add it here. So I'll remove it. Traction loss. So traction control active and traction loss. I'm just afraid that this might interfere with the two. So, so this so this will only kick in when your traction control on your car kicks in. So perhaps we can create two different profiles here. One for cars that do not have traction control. So traction loss will help you feel when the car starts sliding and you start losing grip. But along with that, you'll also feel wheel slip. So I think between these two, I'm not gonna enable them now, but you go and play around with them. See which pedal you want them on. I mean, wheel slip also when you start sliding. But here you can see it even says here, Lamar Ultimate does not provide accurate slip information. You can complete this effect with a traction loss effect. So make sure you read what SimHub tells you here. Okay, so let's, yeah, traction loss. Let's enable this. And I'm gonna put it on my throttle. Close wheel slip. Test. Ooh. That feels nice. So that's it, man. That's how easy it is. So to recap, what have we enabled for Lamar Ultimate? We've got ABS, traction control, gear shift. Um, second thought for Lamar Ultimate, I think this will work well for Assetto Corsa, where you actually are you know, playing with cars that need a clutch and you're playing with a H pattern shifter. So I think for Lamar Ultimate, let's just disable this effect and traction loss. We will leave that on. Let's try this out in Lamar Ultimate. Let's go. I've got my uh, base shakers on as well, so I feel a little bit of rumble in the seat. I need to set up my base shakers again so that I can have them in front as well. Off we go. Increase ABS. Yo. Blue flag. Oh, that traction control. You feel it a lot under the throttle. Don't know if I'm a fan. Maybe I just need to turn it down a bit. But the ABS feels great. <laughs> like the traction control again. Yo, a lot of traction control there. Check it out. Yep, ABS, traction control. Again, traction control. Do you feel the traction control kicking in? Whoa. Let's do one more lap. You know, this game is beautiful, man. Feels great, drives great. Really hope the developers don't disappoint us in the future with all the additions that they're gonna add to the game. But I just love the force feedback in Lamar Ultimate. With the Moza R12, it just feels amazing. Yo. Yo, 
by having these little haptic feedback motors give you those subtle cues of when you need to lift your foot off the brake pedal or when you need to lift your foot off the throttle feels amazing oh there we go we are losing control <laughs> Okay, and with that, that's it. That's it for three hot laps. Sorry, two hot laps or two practice laps of uh, Monza. Let's get back to the pits. That was fun. But to recap, what do you need? You need to make sure you've installed SimHub version 9.98 and you've updated your SimNet pedals to the latest firmware which is 1.2.1. Then jump into SimHub, setup is quick and easy, tuning is flexible and as I said previously if you want to get the full experience make sure you get yourself linear motors. Rumble is cool but Linear will give you the full experience. All right, and that's it. Guys, I'll see you in the next one. Virtual